Okay, welcome to my ROM hacking tutorial. A tutorial about hacking CV3. We look into uh, NES debugger on the emulator. We look into hex editors. We look into revamp. We look what the uh, ROM is. And we look at different assets you look for to hack in a, in a ROM. But most of the things you just edit in revamp, but it's really nice. But there is some content you really would like to edit to what was not added to revamp. And I will look, we will look at the place, uh, a wiki, where you'll find those resources. So let's get started. Um, we look at the ROM itself. I use a hex editor, IXT. This tool, when you open it up, it will show you everything binary. We look at the first 16 bits. First, this starts with the ASCII NES. This is the I NES header. It doesn't belong to the ROM. It is more purpose of so an emulator can interpret what what's the content where the, where the ROMs actually are since the NES file is combined of two ROMs one is CHR for the character ROM for the graphics and the other is the, the program ROM and if you the NES is important since you can have also an intro file that goes above it that does something we don't look into right now Maybe you look into a debugger right, right away. Um, Mason is a great, very great debugger. Also, very great for beginners since it really explains a lot. You can turn those things off when you hover over, it explains a lot of things. But we don't want to look into the debugger too much right now. All I wanted to show is. There are tools in the debugger you can use. So for, for very beginners, like you can look at graphics, you can look at what palettes are loaded, the name table, or you can look at characters like the CHR. We have a memory tool. It's very useful. And here we see actually the this will be the CPU bus that you will open by default. The ROM will be mapped to this. But you can also just view it like this. And if you look at the first line, the program room, we copy that line. It will be this line. You can also look into the wiki because in the wiki the other assets when you want to edit something will be written in the PGR ROM. And here I have a link to what the header actually is. You, know, you see there is the program on the character ROM size. There are also various flags. If you wonder about these flags and how to set the bytes and what they actually mean, I could show it. Nestmaker has a great tool to show it off. This is a binary counter. like the first bit, second bit. Then you see actually the hex number up here, what you would have in the header. It's one way to get it, or you count it yourself in binary. You know, you can imagine the bits flow on, flow in from the left. And they, and there is no space, it will get pushed forward. So it's two, the next comes, goes here. It's full, it will clear. The next one comes in, one. 
then we will go over here e6 and so on like here then next one next one goes over here and so on till you reach the max I found it again we will go over the resources on here later and how to use them uh, one tool I forgot to mention will be tile molester since it is very nice to edit the, the graphics on the ROM since you have a resource file what I mean by it is if you open a ROM let's just take the where is the tutorial here our ROM Um, this is the problem, you don't see the resource file showing up. And I can look into right away why this is. Talmonester does look up the name of the file it wants to edit. And take the XML. So in order to see it we need to name this file exactly how it is in time molester and after this you can navigate through the graphics you don't need to look too long within here you can also just edit the palettes right away or add them if you need them mm, the tool can also be used and maybe I explain it how to use it if you press up or down you can navigate you see the view we have a row interleaved viewing. If you press shift you can resize the current set and one reason you want to do it is if you want to edit those graphics you go to paste and you copy them somewhere edit and port them back. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Shit. I pressed the wrong thing. Copy, paste, copy to. Like this. I'm gonna close this for now. Revamp. What you can do in here. When you go to the settings. You can navigate to the place where your ROM is. You don't need a back ROM, but you can choose a emulator. To test your ROM. Within revamp, we have a great um, tile editor and tile map editor like you see this background editor you have a candle and an enemy editor power up on the enemies you have a misc editor this screen doesn't feature misc we look into the MISC table layer, it will be those things.
Mm. You have a graphic. Mm. The pattern tables are you, as you saw, you can edit them in Tile Molester, but you can choose them in here. And I would like to show right away if you would like to expand the ROM to have more assets. So you don't need to overwrite the current ones. You could actually easily do it. As we have learned, this is the mess header, and then it will be followed by the program ROM size and the character ROM size. As you see, uh, I did see on the page I showed before. For example, if you change the size of the character ROM, make it double the size, then you will need to add like, the bytes. Make it larger, and then I added some too many to make it a little shorter again. So the mistake we made is actually adding too much bytes. That's why it didn't show up. Or we didn't mark it right. We could make the header different, but I don't need that much too many graphics, so I'm gonna size it down very quick. Now we see the graphics here. Now I perfectly demonstrated a big mistake, so uh, let's move on. I think the palette could be more or less clear. You can assign different palettes of different stages. But every stage has actually its own palette, and so you can just edit them. Maybe look for one you like, and so it will be a, a, less a cluster in the end, what you can use and what not. Uh, I think it may... If you think of changing palettes, you should change them and not just to resign them. Resigning is like to get a quick new look. Like maybe you want to do a second quest and you just like the green look. Look, you go with it, you know. I think you get the idea. If you like to reassign them, there are also bugs. You need to do it some in a hex editor. For example, this screen will not be reassignable within revamp. For example, a lot of the palettes are actually used throughout, and you just have two enemy sprite palettes that will change up. Oh, yeah, the sprite, the palettes for the enemies, you have in a different place. You need to choose the proper. sprite bank for it so that we show properly i will put some sort of scale to show and choose the enemy in here mm. you can just place them we want and we have the winged devil. We also have him here too. Another thing we like to change is 
can enable and disable the poker screen so we are quick to move on the screen we have enabled it we save this and then we want to play test what is important to play test just pay attention to the block because we need to put in the same number in the debugger screen and emulator that's loud again but for this purpose it's not that bad yeah you should figure out how to this is the new helper you want one we did not get banged properly close this go to the enemy This seems to be a room that's not working properly. Maybe I should show right away how to fix this, but I'll make a little break. Be right back. You do try another room, since this, this is more or less how you go about. We like to have a different enemy in the night, why not? X Knight, we can place him here. Now we would like to know about the other candle and enemy. Thing. Ah, another thing I forgot. What you always should do when you start a project, you never know when you mess up your room and you need to reverse it. Make make a backup. Can be used, be used in different scenarios. Like, okay, I go back to revamp to that screen and place the armor light a little better. So I don't need to be too much ashamed of myself. Choose the axe knight again. And two will be second quest, so there is... I guess he could stand here, would not be too bad. We save it. But this time we wanna know where it actually saved. Since those tables are usually next to each other. We have a compare function here. You can just press under OK. And we see that it is here. We have this address. And in this case, I actually recommend to use Messen since it is really easy to see those. Uh, Tables. Go to the memory editor, and navigate to this address. The enemy placing was just alright, but I need to check for the assignment. We did not figure it out like that, so let's do it like we did it before.
we go one stage before we change the assets again for now just replace it but you could memory tool again Changed up those numbers. You have to change up those numbers manually, and to update your ROM, you need to look up this address. And the bytes you want to change, you see, are on a bit different location. But it should make perfect sense. By now. Oh, this was a... Long thing. Now when we open it in revamp, actually, it will probably show wrong. I'll look at it. We just ignore it because we know we fixed it. Yeah, the background music editor is more or less just a pointer editor, so you can choose the song or your stage you like to have. It's more or less self explaining, I will not go over it. The same goes with this with in here. You can you know when the stars are on it this is second quest and the other is first quest. I'm a bit confused by it. Never really used it much. I cannot really tell what it's. Ah, uh, it applies to farming blocks. Also, to start an include second quest. Well, we can choose the starting hearts or starting lives. That's more or less for it. Uh, yeah look at the pattern tables in the background editing if you right click on a block you can rearrange it you can change colors for example I would like to have blue blocks then I just gonna pick them accordingly and so I arranged a new block for me Let's say I would really like to have this. Oh. 
Other <laughs> just like this, sorry. Mm, I don't like to have the screen. When you do that, you always need to save it or you will have lost your block. But now it doesn't really fit the scene, but we leave it there just for the purpose of showing how to arrange those blocks. The patterns of the block assembly is actually reused in the whole stage. And there are stages like clock tower where assembly will get reused again. You would probably need to extend those. the fix every time since revamp will just override the damn thing so if you do a change you better make a patch for it but it's actually quite annoying I want to cover is for example I have all those NISCs here I would like to have those disabled on this screen, but we will use them on other screen. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now let's just save it. For that to use the wiki, if you go on here, you have different games you can choose. There is a hacking section. On the raw map, it just shows the free space at the moment. The effect table, maybe we talk about this table first. Uh, I shall open the revamp. For example, you would like to have a clock, clock tower right at the beginning, but you don't have the animation for it. Uh, it may be a bad choice to try this right away, but since you need to reassign those assembly blocks, but I don't want to show since I need to research it first. But I show this example here anyway. So this is block 1 1. And I would like to have clock tower here. I'll save that. Is it going to look all weird? But we'll leave it at that. For right now, it should, it should just show how you go about. Go to one one. I will leave it like this because I save. We'll have no animation. I'm gonna go to our memory tool and navigate to the control key to the table. You see, it will get loaded and it will check in what stage I'm in. So I will use the 2 2 one screen since there is a walk effect I don't want to use on that oh, at this screen anyway so I'm gonna call it zero look at my revamp if you forgot already 
one one and we choose the effects water animation animation and sound the 20 is animation only I would choose 20 for this case now I can show the others now we'll look at the screen when we enter the game. 40 would be better. Yeah, I didn't have more animated tiles. I'm sure you would need to arrange those. But it shows you more or less the possibilities you have with this. And we look at the stage we... Uh, removed it from. I forgot. <laughs> Wait a second. Hang on there. I may get there, I may get there. Was it not two two? I guess not was it. A two two one, yeah, and here the effect will be totally removed. If you would like to have the effect back, you maybe just go to the but this is the next section. We will put it two to one. Then we have this, but we see, oh, it's the wrong effect. We need to have 10. Of course, this is a sc for another screen. It will look perfect like this. And to update the ROM, it is the same as I showed before. You have to open a hex editor. Look at the address. Control G for go to the offset. It's 7030 and we need to add 10 because we are on an S file. And here you have the same table again, but you have to edit and it will be permanent on the ROM. So we have this table out of the way. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, progression. No. <laughs> oh well, I will play a little. It's, this screen has not a back entry, I guess. But we will find a bra branching path here. What do we need to show what the table does? Replenish our health <laughs> for nothing. We get to this map scene we open the memory thing again we look at the offset of the table progression there are different points I think it's described where they go but we'll just look at it because when you look at them they mostly just make sense Because when I would enter one, it will show oh uh, this this one it is using. If I go down, it will be the other one that goes to the marsh. But I can't put in every stage I want. I can go to like. Three, one, one to see just what it is. I will choose another exit. It will be on the boat, or I can say, "Oh no, I want to go to the tower." It will be zero zero. So you will enter the tower here. You can chop, change, the, chop the graphics and feel like a new progression so there are a few tables maybe I should talk about what happened when you kill a boss um, uh, 
Um, what did it say? This table is around here. It's working a bit different. I described the thing a bit wrong, I think. I need to research this matter for sure a little bit more. But you can say if you want to have a branching path or not. I think one maybe is for a mid boss. Or I don't know, I really need to research what it does. But Zero will for sure skip the branching path. And you could add it, I did try it out, I can add it on a other. I did move a boss in the mid stage somewhere. It's possible. Another thing I like to show is the checkpoints. I don't know, I saved too much. Here the checkpoint will bring us here, but when we put in two, it will bring us to a different place. And we change the number here, the, the first bit. Usually when you get in the room, you will get 400 seconds, now you have 200. Which is this, this table. And we look at the MISC table. This one is really easy to understand. Um, Starts, let's start with the first screen. We put the first pointer in that one. Now I need to reset. Oh no, actually I can just open it in the revamp. <laughs> Did edit it on the wrong thing. Like a moron. Let's close this too. <coughs> will be here. I want to have the first... I will just save it. I wonder if I go to another stage and change back or if I need to. Now I have to close it. Come on, where are you? Now I have actually things I can make uh, falling blocks here. The first are, uh, you have like a lot of choices. But you can only put them on so many places. Save the whole thing. Ooh. Already changed a bunch of things up. I wanted to a pendulum. No, <laughs> wrong. Okay, now, now we save and now we try out this craziness. Makes no sense. Nah, it just crashed. <laughs> Restoring all this. I just gonna. Uh, Every 10 minutes I made a backup. 
and allow this Now we can test actually the graphic. Kill those things. As you can try to do something with those events. Um <laughs> they're making it possible to progress. <laughs> the worst game design ever. Um yeah, I was wondering if a graphic change actually kills it. Just save that. There's probably nothing that Realm can do about it since it's game depending because of some tiles. Ooh. Changes more than I thought. It also changes the hitboxes. Oh, nice to know. It's sad that you cannot edit it independent what coalitions the tiles are. I'm sure I'm gonna research that a little since it is a thing I really like to change sometimes. But now I wonder, since I can change it, <laughs> but it crashed the game. Mm. What did I use before? Pendulum. Pendulum things. That doesn't matter. Let's take something else and see if it launches or not. And this would be an easy thing to fix also, which is go to background, actually use this background through save. Ah, well. About the MISC table, there are little things I actually would like to go into. It doesn't show... Ah. <laughs> it doesn't show me. This will represent a stage, uh, a segment. If you, this will be the second. And zero means there is no misc table, and the number means which one. For example, if I would put A, there will be a clock tower. Maybe. Now you see the gear. Just the wrong graphics. Mm. And how it works down here are the table for with, with the pointer. So the point to down here. And the, the MISC data ends with as soon as it sees FF. And they have different sizes. 
So if you want to change one, you could change this to every location you like. And actually, when you do this kind of edit, it would be good if you could go make a breakpoint. Just look it up in the... have a hit and now we can actually view it in CPU bus. Very similar you can make out the pointer very easy like this. For example we would like make it more clear actually. I have all these events here. And I would like to move this to a free location. And not down here. And it is not the full point. It will, if you move the screen, it will load everything to down here. And we will look up if we have free space in this bank. And actually, there is some. I will move it to here. Maybe you write those things down. And if you have the the Nintendo does read addresses from behind, so it will read the bits C3 first and then it will read this. So the pointer you need to write like this. Now we go up there again. Change this pointer to that location. And we copy the events we already have. Now it loads the things down here. You override it with zeros. It should nothing happen, I think. We try it out. It's empty. Uh, with this simulator, you don't have the option to save. Save the file of the ROM. You can load table files and things for editing text. But you cannot. Just save the ROM. That would be a very nice feature, I think. Since I like to hack in here. Yeah, maybe table files. Did I not describe them in here? Not on this page. The, the RAM app is not that far. Spider if did start his own. Uh, zero page or RAM RAM map. It's very nice. Oh yeah, the table fails. There is a there are three ta table fail <sighs> table files for the game and the, this site does describe perfectly what they're used for and how to create them. I can show them very quick, like if you load the table file you made. I have mine in a different folder. I hope. Maybe I put them in here. In game. What's used in game text? Grant. I'm Grant. Let's look for Uh, doesn't find anything. Our text. Oh, 
skills. Maybe I'll load the wrong table file. Ah, oh, character talk. <laughs> this makes more sense. And here you see grant. If you edit text, you have to be careful. Since in game, you know, some things mean line breaks and. Just need to get aware of it so you don't break the routine. It was the text I was looking for. And here you see the line breaks very good. Now you edit this text in particular. If you, after editing, you just update the ROM, it's just copying the hex. Keep in mind that there is an offset because of header file, and uh, I think you should be good. If you have questions about editing a ROM and like to get into it a little and toy around, you're welcome to join the Discord. I will help you with your project if you need help. I'm interested in new people who would like to make a second quest of the game or make something new out of it. Since I really love this game, so I'll say goodbye.